what would it look like if we took just one day and on a worldwide scale took Hawaiians, our key clubs, our K kids, our builders clubs, our Circle K, and we just said, we're going to make the world a better place today. You may not think it's that good because how is this benefiting you? It's benefiting you in every single way. I'm excited because I have so many people who really, really care about their community and want to come out. What are you going to do to better the world? And I'm, this is a really good start. What we're really doing here is we're building a legacy. You're making your community better. We're teaching these kids uh, the value of building into their community and helping their community. You're making yourself a better person. And that it's fun to do it. I get to begin to like, leave my mark. One thing out here, if you've noticed, all these kids are having fun. I've grown up here and it really does feel nice feel to give back to the community that raised me. Everyone's going to come together and everyone's going to lend a hand. And that not only impacts the community, but it impacts the youth and what they're going to go and do later on in their communities, in their high schools, at home, with their families. So Kiwanis One Day has a huge impact, not just locally, but globally. Roar Park is our biggest and most used park. It has a jogging trail that's about 3.2 miles. And if you look around the park, you'll see groups of runners, groups of um, athletic clubs. You'll see a craft show up at the house. You'll see a dog show on the other end. You'll see a horse show in the corral. So this park is the most popular and most used park in the city. These kinds of projects send a signal out to the community that wow, there's people that really want to step up. They're willing to do this without getting paid. And it's nice to come out and help. For me, it makes me feel like I am actually like making a difference in the world. The hours that the Kiwanis are putting in today is probably saving me the hundreds of hours that my guys would have had to take from now till the end of the year. We're repairing the pillars and we're painting the entire structures that you see here, including the ranger's house, the gazebos, the benches, and the tables. We've got construction projects and also we will be helping the uh, live steamers who run the small train for children. What we do is the tracks to be held in the ground we put what we call ballast and what we use is a material called decomposed granite. When that gets washed away we need to replace it and we're doing that all the time. Without the volunteers, what they're doing today probably would have taken us six to eight months to do it with our own regular volunteer members. Right at the entryway, we're going to have banners that say Kiwanis, we're going to have people with Kiwanis shirts on, people with Kiwanis hats on, and I just bet you 99 out of 100 people are going to go, so what is Kiwanis? So we'll tell them, and uh, some of them might join Kiwanis because of this, and some of them may pitch in and help. The overall theme that I have this year is motivation motivating the young kids to step up and volunteer and making it cool has a butterfly effect. And I just took a picture of, of two kids that had paint all over their hands and I'd made a point to take a picture of it because those were the hands of service. I really didn't think this park was really clean so I really wanted to come here and clean it up. Uh, the people who are coming, gonna come here they're gonna be very proud of us and they're gonna be very thankful that we changed their community and made everything better for them and their children. And they'll sit back tomorrow and they says, hey, they'll come by this park. I had a hand in that. I remember when we painted that. I remember when we, we cleaned up Roar Park. If Kiwanis doesn't teach these kids how to do service, who will? Kiwanis will step up. Kiwanis will teach these kids the value of service. Well, here we are at the close of Kiwanis One Day here in San Diego and it was an incredible success. We had the elementary and high schoolers and everybody here, and it's wonderful because in Kiwanis One Day, we really did make a difference. Throughout the day, we had nearly 200 people show up and lend a hand. Uh, many of them were young Kiwanians, key clubbers, key kids, we had them all. What we did isn't just something that's gonna affect people today, it's gonna affect them for years to come. We painted, we cleaned up, we shoveled, you name it, we did it. We really gave this park um, the rejuvenation it needed. The work that we did will be something memorable, especially for those that were in elementary school or high school that came in here and helped, they helped out in painting and renovating. As they come back throughout their lifetime, they're gonna be able to touch that and go, 
I did that. Today has been absolutely fantastic, and I think it is a culmination of an idea that came from Terry Newman that said, we can change the world in one day. Just feeling the fire, igniting the fire of service for our world. It's clubs like the Kiwanis that can pull people together and provide the materials and organize the different people that really makes it the best volunteer experience that I've ever had. We changed this park in one day. We've made this community better in one day. And that is the what Kiwanis One Day was designed to be, and that's what it is. What a great day we've had today.